In this video, you're going to learn how to create a screenshot of anything you have up in your browser or on your computer. And then you're going to learn how you can attach it to your website as an image. So the first thing you need to do is download a free piece of software called Snapshot. So you go to the NiceKit software site and you'll see the URL on the video. You just click download, download it to your computer. Once you have it downloaded, unzip it, and then open up the program. Okay, when you open it up, you see a little square like this. So all you have to do is position this wherever you want it. Say you wanted to capture something on this site. We just position it where we want it. Then we can just put our mouse on the borders. You see how it turns into an arrow there, wherever we put it. So we can drag it across this way. We can drag it down this way. Let's get the shape you want. And then once you are ready, just click Save the File. And give it a name here. Okay, well, let's call it Testing. Now you can select the file format. You can use BMP, JPEG, GIF, TIFF, and PNG. Let's go with JPEG. It's up to you, but I'm going to go with JPEG. Then I just click Save. And that file is now saved on my computer. So we'll close this. And now if I open this file using, just by clicking on it, it'll use the Windows File Viewer. Okay, so there's our image. Now let's look at how we add it to an HTML page. It's very simple. All you have to do is upload the file where your HTML page resides. Or if you're going to put it on your desktop and then upload it, I'll show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're just going to create a folder, put our web page and our image in the same place. Okay, so here's a quick sample web page that I'm going to upload to my site. You'll see that in the folder I have both the web page and the name of the, the image that we created together so it makes it a little easier. Now all we have to do is open up our page and I'm just going to use a text editor to do this. So we'll do an open with and then we'll use notepad. Okay now this is actually a blank HTML file. Uh, you'd have all your other code in here normally if you had a normal web page and then wherever you wanted the image to appear you would just put this code in here. Okay, that's the code that will display an image. You just put image source equals the name of the image there. And we'll save this. Now if we go and click on this file, you'll see that it has opened the image in our browser. So that's it. That's how you can add the image to your web page. Now let's just look at a couple other things we can do. We can actually change the size of it. If we wanted it to set the width and height, we could say width equals 50%, 50%, height, Now if we save this, now let's refresh this page, you'll see that it has made it half the size. You can also use just direct numbers, which will be numbers in pixels. So if you didn't put the percent behind there, you would just get the pixel size. 50 pixels would be very small. It would only be a little tiny square. Okay, so that is it. That's how you can add an image that you capture to your web page.